Hi friends, welcome back. In this session, we are going to discuss about what if we have a variable common in two interfaces? That is a question. So, interfaces having a common variable. So that is the topic here now. And how do we invoke this variable in the subclass? Can we directly access this or is there any other way to access this or do we get any compilation error if we implement this interfaces in a subclass and access this variable directly. So we have to understand this now. The topic is very simple but very important because I had seen this people asking this question number of times in interviews. Sometimes I fail to answer in the beginning. But later on, of course, you know, right? Once you know the thing, you can answer that. So now coming back to this now, I have an interface, maybe you can take Y1, which has a variable A and Y2, which has a variable A. Maybe the value of this is 10. The value of this is 20. Maybe I am trying to initialize different values to these variables because so that we don't get confused. Again, we don't know which one we are trying to call. Exactly. To see the difference, I am trying to initialize different values to these two variables. One from y1, one from y2. Now, I will implement both the interfaces in a subclass. I implement both the interfaces in the subclass. Then suppose I try to print this A. You know, right? Inheritance, even implementing interface is a kind of inheritance. We are inheriting interface, that's all. But keyword implement, that's all. Then the, even the final variables are inherited to the subclass. Then if you print it directly, can we access it? That is the question. So now we are going to observe this. And this is one more important scenario. But simple, very simple. Matter of just five minutes. You can understand that very easily. So let me show you. So maybe you can use the same code otherwise, instead of y1, maybe assume this is x1. Now instead of this method m1, I am declaring a variable int a equal to 10. And x2, I am declaring a variable int a equal to 20. Do you remember in the beginning session yesterday, that is in the previous video, I told you that by default, variable of interface is public static final. If you declare it or not, it is public static and final. That's it. So now, now here there is no method m1 of course, no problem. Remove this annotation first. Then this method becomes subclass specific method. If you put annotation override, it's like you are informing to the compiler that that is an overridden method. But this time we don't have any methods to override in these two interfaces. So that's why it's showing error. If you remove the annotation, you know, annotation is something which gives some information to the compiler at JVM. So here override should not be used because you are not doing any overriding job. And the point is, you know, we cannot override variables. Another important point. What is the point? We cannot override variables. That's not possible. Don't think that we can override variables. Okay, that's really fine. Now the question is, uh, here, I'm trying to print uh, A in the M1 method. Then what happens? I got a compilation error. Out of my curiosity, I tried to print A, but immediately I find a compilation error. Let me just find out why it's showing compilation error. Put the cursor on A, then it show you the reason. What is that it's saying? The field is ambiguous. It's saying that this is confusing to me. Why? Because you know, when you override or when you implement this x1 and x2 in the subclass, now the subclass has a problem whether to 
call a from x1 or a from x2 that is the greatest challenge for the subclass do you understand the point it's trying to worry here about whether to call, should i call it a from x1 or x2 that is the ambiguity issue because both the interfaces has the same variable then somehow you should fix this issue solve this issue how do you do this you know when you call it directly you get a compilation error that's fine but still you know that it's a public static and final and you know from the static variables or static methods we can call a static member directly using class name and now you can call each variable using the respective interface names because they are static it's possible to access them using the respective interface names so that we can avoid the ambiguity do you understand this now so what we can do here you can say that x1 dot a is done now you can see the error is removed now you get the value from the x1 interface suppose you ask me a question sir i want again the variable from x2 do the same for x2 do you understand that so you just try to print the print statement one more time or use the same print and concatenate the result of the variable from x2 so here you just say that what is that uh, x2 dot a is done now run the code you can see now as we know that uh, a is a public static and final variable you can directly access this using class name or interface name or enum name but here it is interface a static member can be invoked or called using class name so i am following that now i am trying to call x1 a from x1 and a from x2 just by using class name now run this code and you can see the output you got 10 and you got 20 one from x1 one from x2 and this is another scenario in interviews people keep asking you it's a very simple scenario but generally i see that students keep failing to answer even the working professional sometimes so that's it my dear friends this is another case study of uh, interfaces got clarity on this so that's it now